Hi, beautiful people. So it's Tuesday. I just got home from work. It's like 537. So I stopped off at Walmart, had to run a few errands and now I'm here and now it's time for me to make dinner. So I'm going to be making, it's basically shrimp with um, spinach. And I'm going to show you how I do that. It's quick, it's easy, it's delicious. You put it over some steamed rice or you can eat it with bread or naan or whatever, just like that. So let's get to it. Okay, so normally I would use fresh spinach, but I bought uh, chopped spinach that was frozen and I defrosted it. I just found this week it was, or when I purchased it, it was just less expensive to do that. So I'm going to be putting two bags of it into a colander so I can drain some of the excess liquid. So that's one bag. And the other bag. And we're just going to let that drain. Okay, so now I have my bag of shrimp. So they're raw and they've been thawed out there's some water at the bottom so i'm just going to dump that out so i'm just going to go ahead and clean them so first i'm going to take off the shell they're easy to peel so just pop it off like that and then we have the vein so i'm just going to slice it with the knife and pull that out like that and then i put it into my bowl and once they're all peeled and deveined i'm gonna wash them so i'm just going to continue doing this So the shrimp has been deveined and deshelled, and now we're going to season it. So I'm going to cut up an onion, just a regular old cooking onion. Use whatever kind of onion you have. And I'm going to put the whole onion in there. I'm just going to cut it and throw that in there like that. Next, I'm going to add a couple cloves of garlic. This is garlic from my dad's garden, so I'm just going to Press down on it like that so it's easier to peel. Nice big chunk. So we plant our garlic in the fall. That way it comes up in the spring and then we harvest it in the summer. We dry it. And then we have it pretty much the whole winter. This one doesn't want to crack for me for some reason. It feels all sticking to my hands. I need to wash my hands. Okay, so I'm just gonna chop it up. tired today I'm not in the mood so this is how it's gonna be had a rough day at work today that's good enough I'm gonna throw that into my bowl okay so 
we're gonna add some thyme. This is fine leaf thyme. I'm just gonna pull it off the stalk like that and put it in. When it's fresh, you don't really need too much because it offers a lot of flavor. So depending on how much you love your thyme, you wanna adjust your recipe accordingly. And then I'm gonna put in one of these guys, a little cherry pepper. Or to my Guyanese peeps, it's uh, worry worry. I'm just gonna chop it up. This gives it a nice flavor and just a little kick of heat. I don't find them very hot, but then again, I eat spicy food. So if you're not somebody who eats spicy food, you might find it a little caliente. Next, I'm gonna be adding some fresh celery. I took one of the inner pieces. Um, people call them ribs. Some people call them the celery stalk. I think the celery stalk is the whole thing of celery and each individual piece is a rib. So I don't know, comment below what you call it. And I'm just going to kind of chop it up a little bit. This is going to give it some nice flavor as well. Don't be afraid to season your food. Use what you got. Okay, I'm gonna throw that in. Okay, I'm also gonna add a little bit of celery powder to it just to enhance that celery flavor. And then of course, salt. I'm a little generous with my salt. Salt helps out to bring out those flavors and I'm gonna give it a pinch of black pepper and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all in like this. That way the shrimp gets all nicely coated and you get those flavors blending. Don't be afraid to use your hands. My hands are clean. I've washed them with soap. I've washed them a million times and I'll continue to wash them. So that's that. I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes. And then I'll okay, so I have olive oil heating up in my little skillet here. I'm going to add my shrimp to that. Well, that was a little bit of a letdown. I thought it was hot. Oh, well. Let's turn that baby up. And we're gonna get that going. Okay, there's that sound I was looking for. So we're gonna cook the shrimp. Make sure they're all nicely fried up. Make sure all that seasoning is also fried up. You know, some of them are turning nice and pink. That's what we want. Okay, so my shrimps look like that right now. If I was using fresh uh, spinach, I would pull the shrimp out, leave the liquid, and cook down my spinach before adding the shrimp back in. But since I'm using already um, frozen spinach, so it's already been cooked, or blanched or however and chopped. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that in and then just basically heat it all through. And then it's gonna get that nice flavor from the shrimp. It's gonna continue to saute that. See how it already absorbed all that water. So you also wanna see if you need to add any more um, flavor to it salt, pepper, or if you just want it like that, I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit and then I'm gonna give it a little taste to see if I need to add anything to it. Okay, so it's been heating for a little bit. You can really smell the mixture, the spinach, The shrimp. I'm gonna taste some of the spinach to see if I need to add some salt to it. I 
think it needs a little bit more salt. Remember, the spinach wasn't seasoned. So add a little salt to it. I think heat-wise, it's good with the, um, the black pepper and the, the hot pepper that I put in there. We're gonna let that saute a little bit longer. That way that salt just brings out more of that flavor. Okay, so there's my steamed rice. My spinach with shrimp. Okay, let's try it. Take a piece of shrimp with some rice and my green. Tastes good. I like it. Try out my recipe. Until next time, see you.